So in today's video, we're going to answer the question, why is the Holy Spirit baptism important? Hey guys, Darren here from New Life Worldwide Apostolic Church and in today's video we're going to explain the Holy Spirit baptism. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our content for more videos. The Holy Spirit baptism was brought into the Christian faith by Jesus. The first time we see this baptism taking place is on a day that the Bible refers to as the day of Pentecost. However, there are indications that pointed towards this new baptism before it came into effect. John the Baptist makes it known to us that Jesus will be the one to bring in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Later on, Jesus himself tells us how important the Holy Spirit baptism is when he says except a man be born of the water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This scripture tells us plainly that we need not only the water baptism but the spirit baptism to enter into heaven. The word born is referring to baptism. Jesus said God is a spirit and them that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This scripture shows us how important the Holy Spirit is because without it we aren't able to worship God in the way that God wants. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit had not yet been given because Jesus was not yet glorified, meaning only after Jesus' crucifixion will the Holy Spirit be given. This shows us how important the Holy Spirit baptism is because in order for us to have it, the Son of God had to give his life. Apostle Paul tells us that if we don't have the Spirit of Christ, then we don't belong to him. Apostle Paul is showing us here that in order for us to be a child of God, we must have the Spirit of God. Think about it like this. If you have children, then you'll be able to see yourself within your children. This is because your children will share the same DNA as you. So in the same way, when God looks at us, if we have his Spirit, then we are his children. Here are a few examples of the Holy Spirit baptism in the Bible. After Philip had baptized people in a city called Samaria with the water baptism, Apostle Peter and Apostle John came and baptized them with the Holy Spirit. Another example is when Apostle Peter was speaking in a man's house whose name was Cornelius. The Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word of God and after this they were baptized in the water. In our final example, Apostle Paul had found some disciples that were baptized with the baptism of John the Baptist but not baptized into Christ. Apostle Paul then went on to baptize them in the name of Jesus and with the Holy Spirit. So to summarize, Jesus tells us how important the Holy Spirit baptism is when he says unless we are born of the water and of the Spirit, we can't get into heaven. Jesus tells us that we must worship God in spirit and in truth. But how can we do this if we don't have the Holy Spirit? The Bible explains that in order for us to have the Holy Spirit, Jesus had to die on the cross. The high price that was paid for us to have the Holy Spirit shows us how important it actually is. Apostle Paul teaches that we need the Holy Spirit in order to be recognized as the children of God. If you haven't been baptized with the Holy Spirit but you want to, you can contact us through the form on our website. The link is in the description box below. As always, these videos aren't meant to offend anyone but rather open up our understanding to the Word of God. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our content for more videos and if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer, leave them in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.